Boris FX Silhouette 2025.5 is here, which is the latest update to the popular photo and paint tool used in many VFX pipelines. And this update is all about turbocharging rotoscoping and making tasks with AI. And one of the most important features is an AI-driven object masking workflow, where you can literally use natural language to generate masks. So instead of manually drawing masks, say all the cars in the scene, you can type cars, and the mask ML tool will detect and mask all the cars in your shot. You can even get specific with prompts, like person wearing pink, to pick out particular subjects. So this text-based mask game is a massive quality of life improvement. It's like having a smart assistant that selects objects in your footage based on what you describe. Along with that, Silhouette's AI masking can now export cryptomat data, which is a fancy way of saying you get ID mats for your individual objects automatically. Before, the AI would give you one combined mat, for example, say people in a shot. Now, it can output a crypto mat where each person is tagged separately. So in comp, you can isolate any one of them easily. For compositors used to crypto mat in Nuke or maybe Fusion, this is a very welcome addition. It makes Silhouette's masks much more useful downstream. Essentially, the AI mask tool isn't just a blunt instrument. It is producing data as if a compositor painstakingly created ID maps for each element, except that the machine did the boring part. Another new feature in 2025.5 is Face ML, an AI-driven tool specifically for facial segmentation. This one is aimed at the beauty work and digital makeup tasks. Turn it on, and it will automatically generate animated masks for key regions of the face, like skin, eyes, eyebrows, lips, and even teeth and beard. Imagine the time saved for painting artists doing blemish fixes or makeup enhancements. So instead of tracking and rotowing a bunch of facial features, the software gives you those mats in one go. It basically combines what mask the software was doing generically with a face-specific approach, recognizing the typical zones that need isolation in a beauty pass. And yes, you can output those as crypto mats too. So each region can be tweaked separately in a comp if needed. Silhouette 2025.5 also levels up its 3D capabilities. Previously, Silhouette introduced a 3D scene node where you could import a tracked camera from another app and do paint fixes on a 3D card in a scene. In this update, the 3D scene node got its own built-in 3D tracker, powered by synth eyes. But what does that mean? You no longer have to leave Silhouette to track your shot in an external software. You can do a 3D camera right inside Silhouette and then paint on a stabilized plane or maybe an object. This is great for tasks like painting out markers or rigs on a moving footage with complex camera motion. It keeps the entire cleanup workflow contained in one software, saving you time and reducing round trips. For many compositing artists, having an integrated tracker is a big deal because it streamlines those cleanup and roto prep processes. Now, in the case you're wondering about getting Silhouette 2025.5, it is available as both a standalone application and a plugin for software such as After Effects, Premiere, Nuke, Resolve, etc. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.